Yeah, welcome back to another Minecraft survival skills tutorial. In uh, a couple of videos ago, I said I was going to do melons and pumpkins. So um, here's what I did. I, I looked at some of the automated farms and um, I also read up on, you know, the behavior of melons and um, how to get the best yield out of a piece of land. I'm not that impressed with the automated farms that I've seen. So I'm, I can build one if you want me to. I'll be happy to do that. But this is, uh, I'm playing in survival uh, and um, I don't I don't really need an automated melon farm. I'm just, it won't give me enough of uh, what I want. So, um, so here's what I did. Uh, first of all, um, here's, this has all been lit up with pumpkins from the farm. So you, you can see I've got a pretty good big space here. This is, you know, several stacks of pumpkins. And here's what I have in the, uh, the chest for pumpkins. Several stacks. And I could have more. I just need to make the farm bigger. Uh, and here's what I've got for melons. And, you know, I could, I could expand this thing infinitely. So uh, what... Uh, I think is most useful for you to know is is you know how to get the most out of a piece of land. So this setup here is one way to do it. Yeah, what you want is you want to put as much farmland as you can around the pumpkins. So here you can see that um, this is not a bad setup. I've got vines right here, and then I've got farmland here but I don't want the pumpkins to flip out this way so I put flowers here so that I can keep this hoed and uh, uh, hydrated but I don't want the pumpkins to land on these blocks I want the pumpkins to land uh, and the melons to land go in this way then over here you know I want all these to go in this way and you can see this is all hydrated the uh, slab the half slabs here are where I put the water and then um, same thing here. These are just going to go in towards each other. And then I've got as much um, hydrated farmland around each melon as I could get with this farm. Now this 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 setup here is really good. Is good if you aren't going to harvest as frequently. Like I don't want to stand watch on my pumpkins. I like to just plant them and go do other things and then come back and uh, harvest once in a while. So this is a really good farm for that because you get a lot of yield when you harvest. You get a lot of pumpkins and a lot of melons out of a single harvest and then you go off and do your thing and come back and it'll be full again. So one harvest from this farm will give me, you know, tons of stuff. And this doesn't have to be pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon. I just did it that way because I thought it looked nice. Uh, this could be all pumpkins, it could be all melons, it could be any mix of the two. Um, one thing that uh, always annoys me about pumpkin farms and melon farms is uh, if you hit one of these, you tend to pop up in the air, and when you come back down, it stomps on your farmland. So the other thing I recommend for doing one of these farms is put a ceiling on it. So I put a glass ceiling over the top of this farm, it doesn't have to be glass. It could be bottom slabs if you want. I'd recommend either glass or bottom slabs though, because you don't want anything spawning on the roof. So I put glass over the top of this. So even if I try to jump here, I'm not able to jump up high enough to stomp on my farmland. Now, when I harvest, I'm going to have um, underneath here, you know, since the pumpkin landed there, it's going to be it's going to need to be tilled again. Now you don't have to till it. Um, and also notice in the gaps here, see I put water here, I can't grow a pumpkin there. I just put some wheat. Carrots are better I think because it's uh, harder to accidentally dig up carrots. But I just want to leave that piece of land hydrated. So I just put crop in there. It could have been a flower, it doesn't have to be wheat. I just thought it looked good to put wheat in there. So. Um, you can see I just did one row. I got 34 pumpkins and 15 melons out of that row. So, you know, a, st a stack of pumpkins 
for two rows and um, you know half a stack of melons for uh, just two rows of this farm um, if you want you can go back and till the land and it'll slightly improve the chances or not, not the chances but the growth rate see I already got a pumpkin there it'll slightly speed up the farm but if, if you forget to till it's no big deal you know it's just one block um, they'll still grow fairly quick and if you're not coming back harvesting or you're not watching these things grow um, you just want to come back once in a while to harvest it's fine now if you want to go if you want it to be faster if you want them to grow faster then um, and by the way I'll put a link to the wiki in here that explains all this you can do this setup so the 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 more farmland there is the more places the pumpkin can land the uh, the faster it's going to grow so here you can see what I did was I did one stem and then all the way around that stem I've got uh, hydrated farmland so I've got eight eight blocks around this stem eight places where the pumpkin can land so I'm not trying to control where the pumpkin lands here I'm going to land it, let it land wherever it wants and then again this is really important with this farm put glass over the top so you can't bump up bump up and down because these uh, these are going to grow every which way now the um, the trade-off with this farm is that it takes more space right because you're you're only using uh, one out of every eight spaces for a pumpkin you're only going to get one pumpkin for every eight spaces in this farm if you've got lots of space lots of land um, then just do a farm like this if you want it to grow fast do a farm like this and just make it bigger double the size of it or something so harvest and then you can go around and um, hoe everything and you're good to go for another round so according to the uh, what I read, they're going to grow faster this way. And there's also an, a video by El Mongo where he does a uh, a uh, pumpkin farm. This it's got crazy amounts of redstone. It's a it'd be a, an interesting farm to build. It'd be a nice farm to show off. That will actually harvest a farm like this. It'll harvest pumpkins that are grown in this configuration. But I don't want to uh, build a monster like that. So. Not, not for me. I'll build it for you if you guys want, but um, I don't need it. So you can see we've already got pumpkins growing there and um, already got pumpkins growing here. So I guess my, my final, it's really my final verdict on these is it's really up to you if you want to go with a high yield farm that you only have to farm once in a while or you're going to want to go with a farm that's going to grow things faster. You can see we've got things growing really fast here. They're already popping out. Uh, and you want to harvest it more often. Um, I don't really have a preference of just experimenting. I'm happy either way because I've got tons of uh, uh, pumpkins. I've got about a stack there just from taking that one run through the farms. And I've got enough melons to, uh, to trade with my villagers. So um, that's it on the, the pumpkin farms, pumpkin and melon farms. And I'll, I'll include the link to the, uh, the wiki that explains the growth mechanics of these things. And it, it also lays out some alternatives for farms. But I'd say don't spend a lot of time um, trying to uh, go through that unless you just like to read. Because what I'm showing you here uh, is going to give you uh, what you want. So um, thanks for watching and uh, please uh, leave me a like to let me know if you like this kind of stuff and um, comments are always appreciated. I'm always looking for ideas. I'd rather build stuff that you guys want to see. Uh, I, if you don't, if you don't tell me what you want, I'll do stuff because I play all the time. So I'll just keep the videos coming, uh, but I, I, I'd rather do what you want. And uh, if you'd like to be notified of uh, future videos, um, consider subscribing to the channel. 
So thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.